I had one rule when I started medical school. I told my mom, I told my dad, I told these guys. No dating. Fast forward two weeks. We met nine years ago at something called Sweat. This is a pre-orientation camping trip that all Stanford med students go on. At the end of the trip, I was with my group, driving back in a two-lane freeway. And on the other lane, I saw that there was another SUV of our sweat teammates. As we were driving along the freeway, I pulled my pants down and mooned the other car. I was in the other car. And if that's not a story of love at first sight, we don't know what is. When we were freshmen in college, uh, we both started down the pre-med track. Uh, we, here we are more than a decade later. Uh, he's thrived his way through it, well on his way to becoming a brain surgeon with academic pedigree that most Indian parents would kill for their sons to have. So that we all know your greatest accomplishment is meeting Chow and marrying this beautiful woman right here. She is every bit as bright, hardworking, focused, charismatic, if not more than you, just be real. I mean, I was like, oh, yeah. A lot of my friends, mainly the girls, have formed this almost like Chow fan club. A couple of years ago when they first found out about Tej, they were super excited and they started asking me about him. And they eventually got to the question of, do you think Chow is going to marry him? Ever since we met at medical school, pre orientation nine years ago, the thought of not being with you has been unfathomable. Uh, you know, I met Tej in college, and ever since I've known him, he's been a person I look up to. He was a stud academically, socially, one of the hardest working, most genuine, uh, self-motivated people I've ever known. If there's one thing I know about Chow, it's that she doesn't settle. Not for a 99 when she can get 100, not for a good school when she can go to the best, and definitely not in her relationships. So. I told them I'm not sure if they will get married, but I am sure that if they do, that Tej would have checked every single thing off of Chow's checklist. Chow has truly brought out the best in Tej. It's hard now to think of Tej without Chow. <laughs> they truly embody what it means to support one another. They encourage each other's passions and give each other space to grow together. Um, and I think what's especially special about these two is, you know, they have a extremely successful resume long, lots of impressive achievements, but then they also have this foundation that is so unique and rare among high achieving people. And that foundation is completely selfless and care for others. And I genuinely think as a couple that is your greatest strength. Your, your sense of family and community um, and bringing good people together. You to accomplish and do so, so much, but then you still have the time to love everyone around you so well and show up for like the really, really fun things and for the hard things and for everything in between. Tej has consistently demonstrated uh, a level of grit, commitment to excellence, and loyalty to friends and family that I find truly unique. I think there's no better evidence of his good judgment than his choice to marry Chow. 
she has a pretty special combination of the self-confidence I alluded to, but also huge empathy. So since that very young age, Chao was kind, generous, and really trusty. She lives by example and makes everyone around her want to be the best versions of themselves. I mean, the two of you together are just such an incredible force um, and a force for good. Today, we are here to celebrate our marriage, but we are only who we are because of you. Our family, our friends, our communities, our people. And we'd like to make our first toast as husband and wife to you guys. You guys, the good and kind, the generous, the inspired and inspiring, the larger than life people who lift us up every single day. Cheers. For myself, today is the also most important day in my whole life. So I would like to thank all of you for coming to witness this moment, this great moment. As their moms, we truly appreciate your presence in this special event. And more importantly, it signifies your dedication to them. What has unfolded in the past nine years since we met has exceeded my wildest imaginations. Getting to know your heart, growing with you, loving you, building with you, has been the greatest joy of my life by a long shot. Maktub. As you know, that's the word that I chose to have inscribed on the inside of my wedding band. And it's an Arabic word, and it means it is written. The concept is that we have free will, and we make our own choices, but that there's a greater universal plan. And when I think of the confluence of events that brought you into my life, the only explanation I'm left with is that this has been written. I feel with every fiber of my being that I'm meant to be with you. Before I met you, things like your other half or your better half seemed to make sense. But now standing here, I am not your half and you're not my half because our love has been less of two puzzle pieces keying in together and much more of a steady intertwining. I am not the same person with and without your love. Your acceptance of me as I am, it all unlocks a version of myself that I am proud to be. Our love is a wonder and a marvel so precious that I am devoted to protecting it for the rest of my days. If there's some trait that defines me, it's that I'll outwork anyone. I may not be the smartest or the most talented, but I will put the time in. And what I vow to you, my love, is exactly that. Every single day. I will work to build a life for us. I will work to improve myself. I'll work to be a man who is deserving of your love and your trust. Though I do truly believe we were meant to be together, I will never take you or us for granted. I vow to choose you every day, to decidedly be on your team and by your side, to always do so without judgment. I vow to prioritize you and our marriage above all else, because everything, be it money, career, success, or fame, is nothing without us. I vow to drop everything when you need me, because you and our family will always come first. Your mom and I will stand behind you guys, back up behind your eyes, 
and fully support you guys and your family with our best. But I need to let you know one fact. You are my little girl forever. I vow to lay my heart open and bare to you, to give myself fully, to be open and honest, so that I can love you and receive your love vulnerably and completely for the rest of my days. Coming back here with our people bearing witness, promising myself and my love to you. This all feels like it was part of a larger plan. I cannot wait to build a life and a legacy with you. I will put the work in. Simply put, Chow, I'm yours. It's written. To two people who are very special to all of us, and my toast to you is that I hope you could keep up with both of them on the dance floor. <laughs> See, every so often, if you got enough glasses of whiskey in this guy, he would turn his fitted hat to the side, shuffle the letters of his name around, and reveal his freestyle rapping alter ego, Jet Daza. In the sequence that I've come to call the double fist bump, check the flow, step through breaststroke. <laughs> You beautiful man. I can't believe that I get to do life with you as my husband. It's our delight and honor to declare you married as husband and wife. Now, may I seal this relationship with a kiss. Big dreaming.